Hi all, in this short tutorial, uh, we will learn how to get the world shapefile with country boundaries in QGIS and also I'll show you how to uh, select individual countries out of this shapefile. For example, here I have selected Australia out of this world shapefile into a separate layer. Uh, so let's begin. I have opened my QGIS and here I am selecting a new empty project. So after selecting uh, in QGIS, uh, getting a world shape file is relatively easy because all you have to do is just go to the cell where the coordinates appear and enter world. So that's it, there you go. Uh, now, uh, if you want, you can change the color of this uh, world map by going to the properties and selecting fill uh, a lot of options are available there you can choose uh, whichever you want anyway i'm not going to change the color let's go back and one more thing if you want to uh, identify the country's names you can just select this uh, identify features button and if you click on a particular country its name will be visible uh, on the sidebar here you can see name china similarly name australia here we go uh, united states of america then canada and so on and so forth so now let's let's learn how to extract or how to select a single country out of this uh, world shape file for example i am choosing australia here so this is australia and the easiest way to select a country out of this world shape file is to go to this uh, select features by value option and there you can see a name column there you have to enter the country's name you want to select here i'm entering australia so it's coming there already so i'm selecting australia and click this select features button and you can just close it now you can see the australia is highlighted in yellow that means it's been selected so it, now it has been selected in this map and now we need to cut this out of this map for that go to edit and you can see copy features button click it now the shape file of australia has been copied and you again go to the edit button and you can see another option called the paste feature size here you'll get two option as new vector layer uh, and also as temporary scratch layer so i'm going to choose this temporary scratch layer and you can give a name for your shape file or your layer i'm giving us for australia and click ok so now you can uh, uncheck the world map layer so australia is here as simple as that so this is this is how you can uh, select a single country out of this shape file world shape file and if you make the world map visible again you can see australia falls exactly on the uh, you know exactly on the same place where it was So that's it. Uh, you can use this shape file for your further works. So thanks for watching.